Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Wreckfest. Today we have possibly one of the dumbest challenges we've ever done on the channel today. Today we will be playing, uh, not with this, having difficulties already, god. Uh, we are going to be playing with um, this thing right here, this monstrosity of a vehicle. This is the caddy, so it's a, it's a golf cart. Um, I have not tested this thing out at all, uh, but hopefully it should be interesting to play with. Um, this one, it always goes wrong, to be honest, with the, uh, it always goes wrong, um, when I don't test things. I don't know what class I am. I'm a C-class. Of course I'm a C-class. Okay, so, there we go. Without further ado, let's try this one again. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Pine Hills Country Club. Looks like we got our native uh, caddy here. I am Canadian, of course. You love to see the uh, maple leaf on the front. Oh my god, I'm so much faster than everybody else. Either everybody just got off to a terrible start or I was so much faster right there. Okay, what I'm noticing here is some people have golf clubs and some people don't. That's kind of weird. And also some people have roofs and some people don't. That guy's just in a straight up go-kart and we're on our side already. Oh, what a save. The wall pop actually saved us there. Tyler Reddick's trying to wreck into us. Speaking of which, congratulations to Tyler Reddick on his first career cup win. You'll love to see it. I was kind of holding my breath. I was expecting there to be like a late race caution for literally his teammate. Just how I expected it to go, to be honest. But they didn't throw the caution. Richard Childress made the right decision by telling NASCAR not to throw the caution and telling Austin Dillon to get off the racetrack as quick as he could because his teammate was about to win. So, once again, kudos to Tyler Reddick for winning that race. You gotta love it. And that's like the, what is it, fifth or something? Different new winner this season? Which is pretty crazy. Oh, somebody pulled themselves there. They're still alive, man. These things do not take damage. Probably shouldn't have put only two laps of this, because we're in six, and we are not catching... Oh, no, we're catching a bit. Oh, my God, we just got packed by Alex Bowman. Coming into the corner here. Look out, AJ. He's in probably the best cart here. He saved it. He's still upright. The center of gravity on these things makes it so that even if you flip over, you can kind of have a little bit of a chance of uh, flipping back on your wheels here. Oh, speaking of road course ringers up here, we got Daniel Suarez, who also got his first career win uh, at Sonoma a couple weeks back. Good for him. I don't want any funny business from him today. You know exactly what happened last time, man. That was some bull oni baloney. So we're up in the second position here as soon as we pass Kyle. We got Chase up here in the breast cancer awareness mobile. Oh, my gosh. He almost lost it right there. Oh my goodness, split the middle. Kyle just pulled himself. And the golf car is... Oh my god. <laughs> it had to happen at some point during this episode. It could not happen, to be honest. So Daniel Suarez takes back the second position. I'm just not sure if we're going to make it this time. And we're somehow putting in faster laps than some of the laps that I did with the uh, the Banshee, which is pretty in incredible. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Both of those guys barely avoided the pole right there. Let's see if we can at least get a top two finish in our first race. I don't think Chase is going to mess up, really. Oh, look out, Daniel. Sorry. Sorry. We got all the road course veterans up here. I think Chase Elliott is... Very consistent on road courses, or at least he's been consistent on road courses the past couple years. Okay, I'm all good. No, Suarez got ahead of us. Oh, it's so unfortunate. So Chase Elliott is your winner, and I believe Daniel Suarez will come in second, probably. It's a good two seconds ahead of us. Yeah, he's going to cross the line in second. We come home in a podium spot for our first race. That is a good omen, in my opinion. I don't know why my AI decided to turn around after I finished the race, but um, um, I'll take a third position for my first race. Oh, boy. Don't 
don't want to knock this guy's golf clubs out at the very beginning here. We got Kurt Busch's global poker card that he almost won the 2019 Daytona race with and ended up losing to J.J. Haley, by the way. Oh, look out. What? Who is this? Oh, speaking of Kurt Busch, he just took out Ryan Blaney. We're taking out Alex Bowman again. <laughs> Second time, by the way. Or no, he took us out the first time. Oh, my God. Who was that? Or, my bad, the golf car. Oh, he's, oh, this is just not good, boys. What are we doing? David Reagan, what did I do to you? Derek Cope, come on, guys. Honestly, what did I do? I don't understand. I just got murdered. I got targeted right there. We are so far behind. A bunch of people doing the Seabell strat down here, by the way. I'm not sure if we had people doing that last race. I think it's going to be a little bit more uncommon. Jesus. Was that Ricky? I think that was Ricky. I don't really know. Yeah, it is. But I think it's going to be a little bit less common just because uh, these cars don't flip off the sides um, that easily. Um, I'm saying that as there's like three cars off the track down there, but you know what I mean. It's a little bit easier. All right. Let's make our way around the track here. Try to at least gain some time on the leaders. Nice turn right there. By the way, our right rear tire is pushed in like a foot from the... Oh, we're good. We're good. We saved it. All good. No issues. I said no issues. <laughs> oh, I'm about to eat my own words. I'm going to go off the side here. All right. All good. Oh, there goes Ricky. There goes Ryan. Both fly by us here. We got the the big pack behind us, huh? <clears throat> we got some, we got an R and R up here, but it is definitely not rest and relaxation for us. That is for sure. Considering how just violated we got in the on the first lap. Who's this? Oh, dead cart rolling down the track up here, Ricky. By God, Ricky. Be actually good at places other than <laughs> super speedways. Okay, that was kind of mean. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of salty. Oh! Okay, that was kind of my bad. Oh, look at Seabell doing the Seabell strat. What a surprise! Oh my God! <laughs> Who was that? Was that Brad? I don't know if that was Brad. Oh, Jesus. Kyle Bush is gonna win the race again and he steals another one from Tyler Reddick but at least Tyler Reddick doesn't have to be so kind to everybody because he finally has a win under his belt I feel like he was just being uh nice to Chase Briscoe it, uh in that Bristol dirt race because he knew he was gonna get a win later in the season just because he's a good driver and there it is Kyle Busch takes the dub let's see if we can at least salvage a top 10 here I think we will Jimmy Mack ahead of us. Oh, let's try and go for the double. Oh, we get destroyed by McDouche. What are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, no, he turned me. Okay, I saved it somehow. Got back on the wheels. So hopefully we will salvage a top 10 position here. I think we will. As we come up off the final ting... And we're 9th out of 24th. That's not too bad. Derek Cope also. Shout out to him. He got a top 10, I think. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and we just get run through because our AI just decides to turn the opposite direction after the win. Or after the uh, finish there. Okay, dude. Get your golf clubs out of here. Dude, look. <laughs> Did you see the wheelie? That was insane. Okay. Well, this is just going to put us... Uh, out of the main mess, so I'm not really complaining right now. Oh, who's this? Uh, uh, don't pull out. Okay, that's Michael. Oh, God. Here we go. Eric, Brad, Jamie. Is that Kurt? Yep. Flipping around back there. Somehow he salvaged a top 15 last race after doing the exact same thing that he just did. But, yeah, he, he was pretty competitive, but he flipped off the track. And he avoided all other contact with other carts at that point because he was just underneath the uh the track there oh boy i don't want to pull myself oh that guy's dead anthony alfredo 
the pa the Foss Pasta. I think that's what they call him. Is that AJ? No, that's Austin Dillon. AD turned around there. I haven't seen him this race so far, except for just then, obviously. So Kyle Busch still has the lead. I think I can see him way up there. He just passed that uh, fake checkpoint thing. Oh, Bubba! Now that was just unnecessary. That was his pit crew's fault. Guarantee they had something to do with that. Look at how towed in that left rear wheel is. By the way, that was a joke. Bubba Wallace is like one of my favorite drivers. I just... <laughs> doing it for the meme. Disclaimer. Oh, look out, Chris. Alright. Let's see if we can try the crossover on Bubba here. Coming to his inside. We hit the brakes but go a little bit wide and we're crashing into the wall. God, when will it end? We almost pulled off that move, but just oversteer, or understeer, I should say, into the corner after I hit the brakes. Trust, uh, I was holding my joystick fully to the left right there, by the way, and it just would not turn. And then it turned, but it was because my back wheels got on the wall, on the dirt wall, and then it spun. So we got Seabell up here, Bubba Wallace doing insane moves to try and keep Brad Kozlowski behind him. I don't know how I saved that right there, by the way. Oh, my God. Why not? Oh, we're going to have to add Bubba to the list after this, huh? Okay. Would have thought Freddie would have told him he wasn't clear. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. These things are really easy to control, but it's like every time you just do a slight increment, a slight input to the steering, your car goes around, or your car goes around. I was, for the record, I was not expecting these things to be this controllable. Um, I was thinking they were just going to spin out. Oh, shout out Jan Daniel Suarez, Daniel Suarez, for when, oh, Kurt. Oh, come on now. What was that? Come on now. What was that? I had to reset there. Jesus Christ. Who was that that just went flying to the right? I think they're still going back there. I'm not sure who that was. It was another red cart. But yeah, shout out Daniel Suarez. He wins the race. Oh, I don't think we're going to salvage a top 15 out of this one this time. But yeah, well, it is what it is. Yeah, at least we make it to the finish line. Is that Daryl up there? What happened to him? Making aggressive blocks again, I see. We finished 16th. Um, not our best finish by far, but I'll take it. Alright. So we start behind David Reagan every time. Maybe he was just mad because I knocked all his golf clubs out that one time. But man, he was going ham along with uh, that other blue and white cart up here. We got Joey up here. I didn't even realize that. We're somehow going to save that or not. Oh, no, we saved it. I wonder if taking the top off uh, increases like the, the possibility to not flip or decreases the possibility to flip, I should say. I always take the hardest way to <laughs> around to word things. Well, AJ's flipped him up here. Oh, my God. Eric! The Eric's are coming back to haunt me. I don't know what episode it was. I think it was the Banshee episode, but the both Eric's just kept on screwing me over time and time again. Oh, Bubba. Please do not do this to me again. Okay, that was almost my fault. I almost just <laughs> drove straight through him. Also, by the way, for some reason, my headset microphone isn't working now. So that's two busted microphones in one uh, one week. Pretty hectic stuff going on here at the channel. By the way, thank you guys for 175 subscribers. Just wanted to point that out. Alright. We'll try and see if we can make it to the end here. Maybe. Oh, we're in a podium position. I didn't even realize that. Oh my god! That was a voice crack, by the way. How did I go so wide right there? I was literally turning the best I could. 
Apparently the best I can is absolute shit because that was a horrible corner. I don't know who that is behind me. Kyle Bush. Why is he all the way back here? He should be leaping. Oh my god. Jeez. That's not Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush is doing the seabell strat. I don't know who that was down there or back there. But they ate it. <laughs> I think it was a blue and white car. It may have been uh, Joey Logano, possibly. In that case, I wouldn't mind, to be honest. I don't like Joey Logano in this game. He's kind of a jerk, just like in real life. I'm sure he's a really nice guy and all, but he's kind of a dirty racer. You guys all know the story. Oh, we got Eric Almarola ahead of us, dude. Look, I'm I'm not an Eric Almarola fan. I wouldn't say that, but I like Eric Almarola. But in this game, man, he he's like a Terminator. He's like... He's embodied the spirit of Kale Yarbrough from those uh, Send Circuit videos, I feel like. Look at this man. Blocking all the lanes. We're going to have to do a crossover on him. We're his teammate, too. Let's try and get to the inside of him here. Through this corner. We're going to have the outside into the, in the last corner here. Oh, God. Eric, don't do this to me. Okay, we're good. We're clear. Didn't need Freddy to tell me that one. All right. Oh, speaking of Freddy... God, why is it that corner? I go so wide every time, and we get beat by Eric, of course. Chase Elliott wins. We've had an array of different uh, winners here, but Chase Elliott, not surprising. The road course, very consistent road course racer. Not saying that this is a road course. This is more of like a space course, crash course, if you will. However, um... We did get a top five finish out of that somehow, and we're still improving our uh, best lap times. So let's just go straight down the middle, I guess. Man, what a run at the start of this race. But the problem is I have nowhere to go now, so I'm just running it right into Kurt Busch. All right, we got... I'm just not going to say anything because I'm really not surprised at this point. Bubba's AI is wild, man. He's like me. It just gets loose in the corners. I don't even blame it on the AI. It just It's really hard to control like that when you get into a corner too deep and then the, the rear end just kicks out. Because I'm assuming these are front-wheel drive cars, carts. And they're running off of three AAA batteries and um, a small uh, lawnmower engine, I guess. It sounds like a lawnmower. There is no grass here. However, there's already a lawnmower uh, vehicle in this in the main game, so I don't know why you'd need a lawnmower twice. Okay, Bubba, I'm gonna just take your outside, and everything's gonna be fine. Oh, somebody pulled themselves up here. How is Bubba still with me, by the way? Dude, he is right behind me. He's on my tail. If I try and break too hard through this corner, he's just running straight through me, guarantee. Okay, do not... See, I'm not even... I'm not even turning wide in that corner. I don't understand why I'm going so wide. Like, I'm fully holding my joystick to the left. Like, guarantee, when I get in front of the pack, if I finally do, if I get to the first position one of these runs, I'm gonna get screwed over because of that stupid corner. I have to, like, slow down to, like, two miles an hour to take the corner because like if I go like 10 I slide wide and then get my wheels my right side wheels on the wall and then end up spinning around like that except I actually caught that somehow that was pretty nice drift there's like a little patch right there that's like all of it is dirt so I'm racing like it should be dirt and then it just transitions to road <laughs> and then it catches me out sometimes or, or maybe it's the other way around but we're back to Bubba, nonetheless. We're not going to get first this time. No shot. Uh, we're in fourth position. AJ Allmendinger is leading right now. Not a surprise. Okay, Bubba. Okay, we did it the easy way. I was going to say easy way or hard way, but we did it the easy way. I almost self-cleared myself like Kyle Busch and died, but I did not. So let's try and get through this corner. Probably not going to happen. Is that AJ? No! The leader! Wait, we only got one more guy. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh my god. 
Oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to make it to him, but that would have been the best. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a chance here. We have a small, itty-bitty chance. Oh, we're not going to get there, though. Oh, oh man. I thought that dead car was going to kill Joey, but Joey Logano wins the race. We come in second. I was looking for Ross Chastain up here. I thought Ross Chastain dumped AJ just like in that Coda race, but guess not. All right, well, personal best um, finish there. We actually made the final corner, which almost won us the race, but it did not. Also, whoever's dead car that was sitting in the middle of the racetrack, that guy's my new best friend. If he, if he, uh, like, sat... I should have seen that coming. I saw him spinning out, and I was like, oh, yeah, he's not going to go into me. And then he hooks a right, uh, hard right right there, by the way. Oh, Chris Buescher just, like, splitting the water right there. I forgot the saying. <laughs> so I just said splitting the water. Parting the waves, I think. Parting the water? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't really know. Uh, that's exactly what this uh, <laughs> cart sounds like. Oh my god! Okay, well, I just space force myself, and it had to be Daniel Suarez, of course. It couldn't be anybody else. Uh, are you serious? Am I not going to get enough speed to get up this? Come on now. Come on now. I got passed by Alex Bowman, and he immediately flips. Okay, we go we're good. We're good. We're good. We got... Oh, seriously, Alex. Okay, well, we're good. I'm surprised Michael McDowell hasn't got up here more often. He's, I think he finished 8th in the, at Road America, so he's where he usually is. I think he finished 3rd at uh, Sonoma, too, so shout out to Michael McDowell. Great road course racer as well. There's a lot of them on the cup schedule. Who's that stuck there? AJ? Oh, my God. <laughs> Michael has been deleted from existence. We got Jamie McDouche up here. Or Jamie McNugget, whoever you want to call him. He's not that much of a jerk. He was in that first race, but not anymore. Okay. I almost flipped right there. I almost screwed my run again because of that. <clears throat> we still got 22 seconds to make up on Ryan Blaney, which is probably not going to happen, to be honest. I see him driving up there. We're like about two and a half corners behind him, I think. Uh, but we are catching, oh, Ryan Blaney pulled himself, I think, because we are rapidly gaining on him. Yep, Chris Buescher took the lead. Uh, Eric Almarola is the next car in front of us. Hopefully we don't get pulled ourselves here. Oh my god, Joey. I think that was Joey. I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, we're good. I see the leaders fighting up there. These guys are all in a big bunch, except for Eric, I think. He's back here. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to make it this time around, but it was a good it was a good try for sure. Who is this? Chase Elliott? Yeah. And we get a top 5 though. That's not too bad. Okay, let's not slide wide in this corner. How about, there we go. Now that right there was a good corner. Chris Buescher wins. Second at Sonoma, so that's no surprise. And, I don't know, I think he was like seventh at uh, Road America? I don't really remember. He was in the top ten, that's all I know. All right. We go again. It takes how long it takes. I edited one video, and I'm never editing one again. I mean, that one wasn't even that long to edit, but these races take so insanely long because of this that I just don't have the patience to edit them. Okay, you know what? That that race is a lost cause. There's a freaking Bubble Wallace again. So... Oh, man, they got a bad start that time. Terrible start for these guys. Okay, Joey, leave me room. Thank you.
Tyler Reddick's going around back there. Turn Brad Keselowski. There's Bubba doing Bubba things. We almost made it. Oh, no, we did make it. Thank you, Derek. I think that was Derek Cope. That just packed the back end of me, and we get sent into the next corner with uh, really good speed, actually. And we're inside the top six on the first lap in the first corners before the hill. That's crazy. That's everybody. That's literally everybody, I'm pretty sure. We're into second. Yeah, there's only one car ahead of us. I just saw five cars flipping through the air, and I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> All right, so we got Kurt ahead of us, and if we've seen anything from Kurt's AI uh, during this race so far, is he's not very smart. As you can see, he's blocking literal air. Um, I have a good one and a half seconds behind him right now, and he's still trying to block me like this far back. He's trying to break draft or something, but there's no draft in this game, so that's not working. All right, let's try it. Make this corner. See, he's got a good strategy. He still slides a little bit wide, though, but then he cuts in and then goes back out. That's a pretty good strategy, actually. Oh, he's got the... He's got the clubs in the back. And the bag. He's a real caddy. And he's not dead, surprisingly. I thought he was going to be dead there, to be honest. All right, we're putting down fastest lap times in the building. Screw it. There we go, Kurt. If we make my best lap time on this track with a golf cart, that would be the most amazing thing of all time. That would actually be awesome. Uh, I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, there's a couple dead carts here. All right. We make it. Hopefully there's no dead carts at the top of this hill, which there isn't. Love to see it. I'm just making a perfect lap right now. <laughs> All right. I feel like I should put all of the the like Wreckfest races um, that were at Ballistic into like a like a playlist for you guys because you guys seem to like this series quite a bit. Um, I call it a series. It's not really a series because I haven't marked it as one. Like they're not in a specific playlist. I just kind of put them in my random videos playlist. Uh, but if you guys do want to see them in a series, like, marked as a series or in a playlist, um, I'm probably going to do it anyway, but just for your guys' convenience, but put a comment down below if you want to see that. Let's not die to dead cars again, and we make it to the finish line in the first position. Oh, that was kind of a stressful one, but that was a pretty good race. Um, i definitely use those cars again. Um, I was planning to use these originally for... Um, the road course race, like the, what is it, the French GP track or something like that. Um, but then I decided not to, and I decided to use it at Ballistic first, and I, I think it actually turned out pretty well. So, thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.